Hey, what is up guys, it's Pez here, bringing you another, I'd say video, but it's more of a, I guess another rant about uh, how Advanced Warfare is being handled in a way. Um, you've got some, you've got some Chop Shop uplink gameplay to look forward to, I get a 3kd playing the objective, um, I get a solid 35 kills, something like that. So I hope you, I hope you enjoy that in the background. Anyway, on to the uh, subject of this commentary. I want to talk about classic maps and where they get brought back because we've seen a lot a lot of map packs in the past bring back reskinned um, often modified classic Call of Duty maps uh, for example we saw a shipment from Call of Duty 4 being brought back in uh, in Call of Duty Ghosts and that was actually one of my more that was a pretty good pretty good remake but anyway, now we've now we've got Sledgehammer Games, and they've got their first game out. So obviously they had, don't have any maps that they've made themselves that they can introduce, like you know throwback maps, let's call them. So now they're bringing in maps from Infinity Ward's games. So we've seen we saw a Pipeline being brought back as Atlas Gorge for the release of the game, and now we're seeing a map called Skyrise, and this is where I start grinding my gears because the whole point of bringing back these maps for me is so that we can relive them as as we did all those years ago bringing them back in a game that yeah okay they're doing a they're doing a good job with they're, they're still working on balancing and stuff like that like they've shown signs that they haven't given up on the community and stuff but yeah sorry getting, getting a little bit off track there uh, so now I've been now I've seen Skyrise come back, and I understand that they want people like who haven't played those maps before in the past to experience them with good servers with um, a high player count and stuff. But bringing it into a game where the movement system is completely different and. The balancing still isn't quite there. It's just, it's kind of, for me, it's dirtying on the classics. Like, Call of Duty 4, it had its problems, but overly, like, the way I remember it is it being a pretty well balanced game. I mean, especially compared to the game that followed it, Modern Warfare 2. Um, the second side to it is that with the, these maps, like Pipeline and High Rise, are two, two of, I'd say, the biggest classics out there, okay? Um, with them bringing them into Advanced Warfare, that means, in a way, that they're not, like, we're not going to see them for a very long time. Like, they're not, they're, I highly doubt they're going to be the nuke town of the uh, Black Ops series, where you see it more than, you know, might see it in Black Ops 3, who knows, but what I'm getting at is that with them coming out in this game, where the advanced movements are new and they haven't had iterations to fine tune the details, it it might not it might work it might not work, but it's it's put into a game with new movement cam mechanics that the Call of Duty community haven't had the the older generation of the Call of Duty community haven't had the chance to get used to to accommodate their gameplay to to. Um, uh, hopefully you know what I'm getting at, but like, get used to is is the overall statement. I'm I'm one of the people that really dug into the game from the start, and has kind of lost faith over time. But I can certainly see how with Black Ops Three and whatever Infinity Ward's next game is, um, Ghost Two, let's call it. As iterations go on, they'll fine tune. They listen. To, they listen to the community, and they'll fine tune these movements. We're not going to have. I highly doubt they're going to go back to feet on the ground style gameplay again, um, or at least not for a very long time. And this futuristic stuff is going to be where it's at for quite a while. So we have to kind of suck it up and get used to it. But from what I've heard, Black Ops Three is going to be much more passive, and so already I can tell that they're taking into account people's suggestions and 
yeah, basically I just wish that they hold these map these classic maps off. But what I'm getting at is it's not gonna be the same. And that's why you bring back these maps. You bring back these maps so that you can relive the memories. And I just hope that they're they can improve upon this in the future. Anyway, if you've stuck with me, thanks for listening. I know I kind of veered a little bit all over the place, but I hope you got the I hope I got the point across in the end. Uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. I bring out all kinds of content. You can check out my videos. Uh, if you don't want to subscribe, then at least just share. Um, it helps me out massively. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll give you a show in my next video. Um, thanks a lot, and stay classy. Peasant out. Take the satellite to the uplink station. Marking care package coordinates. Our UAV is online. Broken on standby. The enemy has the satellite. Satellite dropped. Friendly XS-1 Vulcan inbound. Satellite dropped. UAV above. <clears throat> Walking care package coordinates. <clears throat> Satellite acquired. <clears throat> Satellite upgrade. UAV recon standing by. Our team has the satellite. Satellite dropped. Get the satellite back. Our UAV is online. Enemy care package incoming. Satellite dropped. Advanced propulsion torrent online. Satellite dropped. Enemy UAV above. We've lost the satellite. Friendly warbird in the air. Orbital care package on standby. Satellite dropped. We have the satellite. Enemy UAV online. Launching care package. Friendly UAV above. Satellite drop. Enemy UAV online. Our team has the satellite. UAV above. We're winning. Satellite dropped.
fight back. Nice work, Sentinel. Friendly holds the satellite. 